Michelle Sisa is a member of the Muskeg Lake Cree Nation. She's also an award-winning freelance journalist, and she's a mom of two in Vancouver, and she joins me now. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Amy. So tell me about um, about this map. How, how, how did it come to be? How did it work? Well, uh, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. And over the holidays, I had a break from deadlines. I had a surplus of creative energy. And I just decided it was time to make something I'd been thinking about forever, which was a resource for parents to find out if the place that they're planning to go, like the restaurant or the coffee shop, has a change table for their baby. Um, which is information that is surprisingly hard to find. It's not usually on restaurant websites. It's not listed on Google or Yelp. Uh, and it really just seems like a piece of information that you only find out when you are in a bathroom with your baby, realizing at the last minute when it's too late that they don't have a change table. Yeah. And I think any parent who has you know left the house with their children uh, understands yeah. that that moment of panic when when there is just nowhere to there is nowhere with a change table. Now, now who can access this site and 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 how will it evolve? I guess going forward, anyone can access it. So it's at VancouverChangeTables.com, uh, and I've started it kind of the easiest possible way, which is a Google Map where I'm adding locations. So uh, they're in green if they have a change table and red if they don't. I also have a yellow category for ones that only have change tables available in women's bathrooms. Mm -hmm. And then there's a form that's linked on the website where anyone can submit. So I'm hoping it'll be a kind of crowdsourced resource that anyone can contribute to, including people who don't have babies themselves, but just want to take note of whether there's a change table at the you know, the restaurant or business that they're visiting. Exactly. And and that's something that I was uh, always surprised about and still am, quite frankly, is how um, those change tables are typically just placed in the in the women's washroom and, and how incredibly frustrating that must be for so many parents. Yeah, that's one of the biggest pieces of feedback I've had is from dads who requested that there be information on the map about the gender of the bathroom, because I think so many dads have been out with their babies and uh, ended up in a situation where maybe they had to ask to use the women's restroom or, uh, you know, had to use the floor of a men's bathroom, yeah. even though there was a change table available. It's it's still a really gendered inequality. Yeah, it, it, it is. Many things with parenting are. Uh, what's the feedback that you've been receiving so far? Mostly from parents, it's just that they wish this had existed when they had little babies. And from parents who do have babies now, they're really excited to see it. Um, and and from non-parents, I mean, one of the most interesting pieces of feedback is from people who are still surprised that change tables are hard to find. Right. Uh, I think a, a lot of people assume that they're required, you know, the way... Uh, many restaurants are required to have bathrooms, but there is no requirement to provide a change table for babies. 